Hello everybody and welcome back to Multi-Level Mondays here on the channel. My name is Blair or the Illuminati and today we're obviously going to be discussing a new MLM, Octavia. And I'll be totally honest here, I haven't actually heard of them before. A few people mentioned it in my comments and so obviously decided to look into it. They don't really have a Wikipedia page and searching their name doesn't really bring me many results as say like LuLaRoe, Unique, or Herbalife. After some digging around, I discovered that this company is actually owned by another company called Metafast and they're one of five subsidiaries, Jason Pharmaceuticals, Jason Enterprises, Jason Properties, and Seven Condal and The Shape of Life, which changed its name to Octavia a few years ago. So I guess this isn't a video 100% about just Octavia, but more about Metafast with sort of a Octavian focus on things. So anyway, let's begin unraveling Octavia and take a look at what it and its company, Metafast, are up to. Art just doesn't eat the food he should. No wonder mother is worried. So to start off with the history of Octavia, let's take a look at what it was formerly known as, which is called Take Shape for Life. That was founded in 2002 by Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson. He and his wife, Lori, were the first TSFL coaches, the first Hunbots of this new group. According to Metafast, Dr. Anderson is even the former director of the Surgical Critical Care Programs and chairman of the Department of Anesthesiology at Grandview Hospital. So sure, it sounds like he knows his stuff going by that. I mean, I wouldn't want to trust anyone who starts an MLM in the first place, but you know, these things are a little bit easier to fall for when you've got, you know, that fancy doctor title with it. Not to mention he's even written New York Times bestsellers, although I've got no doubt it's thanks to the Hunbots purchasing it, but he's got some New York bestseller book shenanigans and he does have some valid points about dieting, which I will give credit where credit is due, as you guys know. So he's written this book called Habits of Health and made some decent points about weight loss. For the first 30 days, the major focus is on achieving a healthy mind, Dr. Anderson said. Most weight loss or health programs immediately put you on an unrealistic workout plan or an extreme diet. These may produce results in the short term, but without understanding the role that habits play in your health, you're just going to put that weight back on. That's what makes the habits of health approach unique. We fix the mind first. On each day of the challenge, Dr. Anderson sends an email early in the morning to participants. Each email teaches about health and presents a task or exercise to complete that day. Some exercises are activity-based, like taking the stairs instead of the elevator, while some are more educational, like identifying common daily choices that are unhealthy. Throughout the challenge, participants support each other on Dr. Anderson's Facebook page, sharing their goals and offering each other encouragement. With comments and replies from Dr. Anderson directly, the virtual support has been well-received. Health is a marathon, not a sprint, Dr. Anderson emphasizes. Little steps add up. These challenges are just that. Being healthy is a long-term commitment, which is why I am creating contemporary tools like the 30-day challenge and my online community to provide long-term support. You can get healthy and I am here to help. So I will absolutely give this man credit on this. This is of course an automated email system, which I, I mean, like I'm guessing it is anyway, cause it seems like it would be too much hassle to do that every single day. But it is a great idea because it makes participants feel like someone is holding them accountable. And to me, at least it would feel that way. And on top of that, I love that he says health is a marathon, not a sprint, rather than weight loss can happen fast. Like we've seen other MLMs preach. So I will absolutely give him that because I don't ever wanna put down the little golden nuggets of actual legitimate research and healthy thinking in any business company, organization, whatever it is. With that being said, no matter how many good reviews his book will get on Amazon and no matter how many sales he makes, he is still a Hunbot. After all, seemingly smart, educated people can fall for MLMs too, or apparently even create them. Dr. Anderson could be a great doctor for all I know, but from the lens I'm looking at in terms of being an anti-MLM person, he looks like a greedy, ignorant businessman who just also happens to be a doctor. Now, as for Octavia themselves, they've got a few different products or, well, programs, I guess. The first is their five and one plan. Their site reads, eating six small meals a day is the first healthy habit you will learn. On the optimal weight five and one plan, your body enters a gentle but efficient fat burning state while maintaining, retaining lean muscle mass. Choose from more than 60 convenient, nutritionally interchangeable, scientifically designed fuelings. In addition to five fuelings each day, you'll learn another healthy habit, 
how to make lean and green meals for you and your family. When you know what optimal nutrition looks like, healthy eating becomes second nature. And once again, this actually sounds pretty good. They're not shouting to the rooftops about how you're gonna lose a pound a day or you know anything obscene like that, but it is still an MLM, so where's the catch? Well, those of you that have been around here a while have seen that I tend to choose one classic recipe when looking at diet MLMs, their chocolate shake. I would argue that the chocolate shake is a pretty popular like choice meal replacement shenanigan that almost every company that works with dieting stuff, MLM or not, tends to use. And why? I think it's because people probably like the idea of being able to have chocolate while dieting. It feels like you're cheating while you're not cheating kind of thing. At least that's my perception on it anyway. As you can assume, this means Octavia obviously has a chocolate shake. So let's take a look at theirs. How much is Octavia charging for their chocolate shake? $239. They boast that each serving has 14 grams of protein and there's 82 servings in the container. So it's just under $3 a serving. So you know the drill, time to do some price comparisons. At the vitamin shop or the vitamin shoppy when I want to be fancy, we have the gold standard. Whey protein, same flavor, 74 servings, $60. That's about 81 cents a serving. And it apparently has 24 grams of protein per serving too. At GNC, even if you want to buy ready prepared lean shakes, it's $2.50 per serving and they've got 25 grams of protein in that. If you're on an Amazon kick, you've got 22 grams of protein per shake with this one, and that comes out to about just under a dollar per serving. Again, I'm not saying Octavia is a horrible product, but they are, as per usual with MLMs, overpriced as heck. And in some comparison cases, sometimes even three times more expensive than other products that are easily available on the market. Plus, if they care so much about protein and health, then how come literally every other shake I've found looks kind of like a healthier option? They've also got a four and two and one plan, which pretty much just means you have four Octavia fuelings, which is what they call their prepackaged snacks every day, then two lean and green meals and one snack. Their last plan, three and three, is three fuelings, then three lean and green meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just very controlled and regulated. Healthy meals with one of their shakes or bars or whatever to keep you feeling full. They also advocate for their product purposeful hydration, which is where they start to lose me. It's just over a dollar per serving for this fruity sugar water. And seriously, the ingredient list for their juicy orange box is acerola fruit powder, potato maltodextrin, citric acid, gum arabic, sugar, mixed triglycerides, xanathan gum, steviol glycosides, monk fruit extract, natural flavors, and tocopherols. They don't even tell you why this is so much better for you than water. They just say that they made a delicious, effortless way to make staying hydrated a habit. So the only benefit to this is that it tastes better. I don't know, I guess I can see that. Now, so far you're like, Blair, I haven't even heard anything bad. And I'm sure there's some Huns in the videos who will stop watching about this point and be like, you don't have anything to say about this company. You don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you should do your research while providing literally no research of their own, just their shitty opinion. And to be fair, cause I will give it that moment. If this was it, I probably wouldn't even make a video on this Octavia company. Like if this was the big bad of the company that they just kind of overpriced some of their products, I probably wouldn't have much to say and this video would not be here today. But as you guys know, that's not why I'm making this video is because it doesn't end here. So let's get into the bad, the very bad. So in December, 2019, Marissa Cohen wrote on prevention.com that the Octavia diet may not work long-term for weight loss, according to registered dietitians. Her article read, while it hasn't yet achieved the ubiquity of trendy diets like keto, paleo, or Whole30, the Octavia diet plan is getting a lot of buzz on social media. It was also one of the top 10 most Googled diets in 2018, though so far the biggest celebrity to admit to jumping on the Octavia bandwagon is Cake Boss's Buddy Valestro. So what is this lifestyle plan that your friend's cousin says she lost so much weight on? Can you really drop major pounds and keep them off? Let's get down to it. Octavia is actually a new version of an older diet diet, Metafast, which was created by a doctor in 1980 and involved packaged shakes, bars, and snacks. The plan was updated a few times and in 2017, a new iteration for the digital age, Octavia, was launched. When you sign up for Octavia, you purchase foods online and get connected to a personal coach, who is in most cases a former client eager to 
share the gospel of Octavia and who also gets paid a commission on all the food you order, plus bonuses and additional commissions for recruiting and supporting other coaches. The coach helps you work through a habits of health program, common sense health goals like using the stairs instead of the elevator and drinking lots of water. But the main sell of the program is still those packaged shakes and bars. So I'm about to pull a Kanye West here and interrupt her for just a minute because this is the first issue that I have with Octavia and just about every diet MLM that you can think of. What if this coach is wrong? They're not nutritionists and they're not personal trainers. They're someone who purchased a starter kit. The only qualification you actually need in order to teach someone the Octavia lifestyle is to purchase a $200 starter kit. Dr. William Vital, the one who started Metafast and Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson, the creator of Take Shape for Life, which is now Octavia, know the years of research that go into a degree. It's not a quick and easy thing that someone can just do part-time in a few months. Asking a friend for an opinion and some general life advice is one thing, but who would trust their friend, their upline even, for daily health advice? It just seems a little strange to me. But anyway, back to Marissa's article here on why it doesn't work. In the initial optimal weight five in one phase, which can last 12 weeks, six months, or longer, depending on how much weight you want to lose, you eat six small meals a day, spread out every two to three hours so you don't get hungry and your blood sugar levels remain steady. So far, great idea. But here's the catch. Five out of the six meals consist of processed packaged meal replacements called fuelings. There are about 60 different kinds of fuelings available for sale on the site. A starter pack includes 119 servings and costs $392. Choices include savory dishes like pasta, oatmeal, mashed potatoes, and soups, all of which come in dehydrated packs. You add water and pop it in the microwave. But the majority of the items are shakes, bars, cookies, and crunchy snacks chili nacho cheese puffs, anyone? Each of these fuelings has around 100 calories and contains what Octavia calls a high quality protein and a probiotic for digestive health. Once we start referring to meals and snacks as fuelings, we're already in trouble, says Jacqueline London, director of the Nutrition Lab at the Good Housekeeping Institute, who is also the author of Dressing on the Side and Other Diet Myths Debunked. Food is meant to be enjoyed in order to provide nourishment in any and every form and labeling it as a fuel ignores that fact. In this phase, you're allowed to eat fresh food just once a day for your lean and green meal, which you prepare yourself or with some effort order in a restaurant. It should include five to seven ounces of lean protein, such as fish, chicken, eggs, or steak, up to two servings of a healthy fat, such as avocado or canola oil, and a heap of non-starchy vegetables. No fruit, potatoes, dairy, bread, or grains are allowed, and alcohol is a definite no-no. This all adds up to 800 to 1,000 calories per day. To put that in perspective, a woman in her 40s needs a minimum of 1,800 calories a day, according to the US Dietary Guidelines. 1,000 calories is the recommended amount for an average two-year-old. Food is fuel for our body, yes, but if we only see it as that, it's not super healthy either. It is supposed to be enjoyed and not just shoved down your throat to keep you going. Not only does this sound like a diet that I really wouldn't want to be on, but it's one I absolutely couldn't stay on. Sure, Dr. Anderson may have developed this with a perfect way to keep us moving, accomplishing what we need to and give us just enough to function, but I'm not a robot. Like, I don't want to have to rely on a fueling to get me through the day because I'm starving throughout the day. The pros, as Marissa says, are that yes, you will lose weight and the company is careful to say it's about a pound a week, sticking to reasonable expectations. It's simple and there's community support, AKA the Octavia cult. Fine, but you're also eating a ton of packaged processed foods, which in my experience, don't usually taste that great. Sometimes it's barely edible. So let's just be honest here, it's not. Great. There are so many snacks you can make with whole foods that are healthy, low in calories and filling, adds Bonnie Tab Dix. Just take non-fat milk and mix with a banana and ice for a smoothie and you'll have a healthier shake. Instead of eating a pack of dehydrated pasta, why not have a bowl of zucchini noodles or a small portion of whole wheat pasta topped with fresh veggies and a protein? People have quit simply because of Octavian's taste. I would be too if I had to rely on packaged add water and microwave snacks. And the true obvious reason Octavia simply doesn't work is because of how unsustainable it actually is in the long run. It should be apparent to anyone looking at those numbers that functioning on the amount of calories that a toddler is taking on won't last very long before you get a little crazy. The article is quick to point out that even the recent studies showing how great Metafast and Octavia work are sponsored by, no surprise here, Metafast themselves. So geez, it's not like they don't have any bias or something, right? 
Already, we've got expensive shakes pushed on us by Hunbots with no real experience, prepackaged fuelings that treat eating like you're putting gas in a car, and an unsustainable program that has people eating the recommended calorie intake for toddlers. Now, that's not to say cutting back on calories isn't important for those trying to lose weight, but taking it to this extreme and calling it fuelings, it's not gonna work for everyone, and especially not in the long run. And as if all of this wasn't bad enough, in 2012, the Metafast marketing subsidiary Jason Pharmaceuticals was sued for $3.7 million to settle FTC charges. Here's what the FTC had to say about it according to their website. Metafast unit Jason Pharmaceuticals Inc. has agreed to settle FTC charges that weight loss claims in the company's advertisements for meal replacement products violated a 1992 FTC settlement order, which barred it from making any unsupported claims about users' success in achieving or maintaining weight loss or weight control. This enforcement action is part of the FTC's ongoing effort to make sure that companies comply with FTC FTC orders and the agency's crackdown on deceptive and misleading health claims. Under the FTC Act, companies may be liable for civil penalties up to $16,000 per violation of an FTC order per day. The company also represented that the experiences of consumer endorsers featured in the advertisements were typical and that consumers would lose more than 30 pounds, according to the complaint. One such ad stated, why Metafast? Three great reasons. Cynthia Luhan lost 73 pounds on Metafast. Cindy Daniels lost 43 pounds on Metafast. Jennifer Lilly lost 70 pounds on Metafast. You can lose up to two to five pounds per week on Metafast. Under the new settlement order announced today, Jason Pharmaceuticals is prohibited from misrepresenting that consumer consumers who use any low calorie meal replacement program, including the Metafast 5-in-1 plan, can expect to achieve the same results that an endorser does or can lose a particular amount of weight or maintain the weight loss. Such representations must be non-misleading and backed by competent and reliable scientific evidence that consists of at least one adequate and well-controlled human clinical study of the low calorie meal replacement program or a study that follows a protocol detailed in the settlement order. Now, I know this was from 2012, which which seems ancient compared to the lawsuits we see coming out of MLMs like all the time, but these claims are dangerous, especially in the hands of Hunbots. We've seen Hunbots make statements that even the company doesn't endorse, so seeing Metafast advertise this way speaks a lot about how much they actually care about the science behind their claims. Seriously, if you've got an amazing product that works, just prove it. Use an unbiased third party or something. If it really works, then they should have nothing to hide. But consistently, Octavia has been ranked low by nutritionists, specialists in diabetes, and heart disease and other diet experts. US News assembled this ratings panel and their overall score was 2.6 stars out of five and ranked 27 out of 35 best diets overall. So sure, there may be some merit to them and you can lose some weight, but there's 26 from Weight Watchers to Mayo Clinic diet to Mind diet to the Nordic diet to other ones I've never even heard of that are ranked as superior to this one. Plus, one of its supposed pluses from earlier, the ease of following, was only given two out of five stars. Most panelists classified it as somewhat difficult, unpalpable, and unappealing as how one expert described Octavia Foods, while another noted the difficulty of staying on Octavia as loved ones eat normal food. For long-term weight loss, it was 2.2, and the comment reads, keeping off lost pounds is unlikely in the judgment of our panelists. They're doubtful that dieters won't return to old eating habits once they wean themselves off Octavia it ended up below average on this measure. Safety was 2.8 out of five. That part read, when considering the health risks Octavia might pose, many experts found it to be somewhat unsafe. Most of our ranked diets surpass Octavia in this measure. It also had a 2.5 star on nutrition. Compared with government targets, Octavia provides too much protein and too few carbs, panelists said. The diet earned a below average score. Hell, the only test it actually managed to get past three stars on was short-term weight loss because of its low calorie cap. So I guess if you just want to lose weight quickly and don't don't mind gaining it back later on and don't really care about your safety, health, or long-term weight loss goals, then yes, this is the diet for you. Oh, and you've got to have a lot of money because like I said from earlier, those shakes are not cheap. Even websites that try to remain unbiased have pretty minimal pros. Packaged products offer convenience, sure, 
but not taste, achieves rapid weight loss until you put it back on again, and takes the guesswork out of what to eat. Yeah, because all you've got is a bunch of dehydrated fuel and offers social support. Like, okay, if you're okay with being part of a cult-like community, I guess. I want to stress that it's not like all my sources are anti-MLM stuff here, and in fact, most of them aren't, but they can't even recommend Octavia. Like just these general sources that are just trying to judge and review this product, they can't even recommend it. How bad do you have to be that even people who are fine with pyramid schemes aren't okay with you? Now, as for their numbers, Octavia themselves say that if you want to make about $325 a month, you just have to sell an Octavia essential kit to four people every single month. And that sounds easy, making four sales, but that essential kit is over $350. So in order to make $325, you have to sell $1,000 of product every month. It is statistically speaking, a better compensation than what other MLMs offer, but I just wanna know who these people are that are going to regularly buy $325 of powdered diet shit every month. So the other thing obviously is about how much money they're actually making as Huns and what they're making as a company. According to their 2019 income disclosure, it reveals that 21% of their coaches make nothing, zero. And that's after a year in the business. After that, an 8% of coaches make less than $100 annually and almost 12% earn $100 to $250 annually. Then 11% will earn 250 to 500 a year, and another 11% will earn 500 to 1,000 a year, and 13% will earn between 1,000 and 2,500 dollars a year. From there, the numbers start to shrink dramatically, and just over 5% of their coaches could be considered above the poverty level in terms of how much they earn. But hey, like I said, I guess it's better than most MLMs. Normally that number is around 3%, not five. So, you know, it's still bad, but I guess like an extra 2% of people have a potential opportunity. It, it's just not good. It's still just not good, but it's not nearly as terrible as some of the other stuff we've seen, but only by a 2% margin. So what is my point with all of this? The point is this, Octavia is just another horrible diet MLM. Again, I had my hopes up at first, but they didn't fail to disappoint me yet again. They're not scientifically proven. They're not good for long-term weight loss. They're expensive. They have the MLM business model. Apparently they taste horrible and uh, I'm probably missing a few things on the list, but I think it's safe to say that you get the picture here. A lot of the things that are good about Octavia tend to be common sense, like the whole taking the stairs instead of the elevator thing. You don't need to pay money to know that. Hell, if you just watch this video, you will have learned that. You didn't have to pay any money to figure that one out. The point is once again with these videos is there's pretty much an MLM for everything and they may try to make a new spin on things, but it's the same bullshit time and time again. As per usual though, let me know your thoughts and comments on this video down below in the comment section. And if you like today's video, hit that like button. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want more information from me, including all the sources I use to make today's video, um, my other like YouTube channels that I work with, social media, blah, 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 all that fun stuff, links will be in my description box. So again, guys, thanks so much for making it to another video. Love you guys, hope you're having a great Monday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.